few uh, so far uh, and uh, most of them are down south so we need to establish uh, let us say a dealer network of retrofitting companies in delhi uh, which can help in early adoption of uh, of uh, electric vehicles uh, and retrofit existing petrol or diesel vehicles into electric vehicles. So I will not uh, dwell anymore, uh, but I think it has been a journey, exciting one personally for me in the last uh, one year and a quarter, huge learnings and I'm sure uh, as we go along we'll uh, be able to do some more exciting stuff together. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, for providing the final details of the implementation of the policy and uh, what is to come. Uh, so I mentioned about, uh, the, uh, he emphasized on the importance of last mile delivery, electrification of uh, the last mile delivery fleets. Uh, the Delhi government started work on this uh, on a pilot basis. It was a joint initiative between RMI India, RMI uh, co collaborated with the Delhi government. And today uh, we will launch the report for the Deliver Electric Delhi. Uh, so just to give a brief, brief overview about the report, uh, the, there were three, three to four key aspects of the, of the pilot that was run. Uh, it was run along with 35 industry partners. It had a wide uh, set of stakeholders. It had vehicle OEMs, uh, delivery service providers, and it focused on an end-to-end -end, uh, design of the policy, uh, implementation of the, implementation of, uh, the policy, and, and creating a roadmap for final mile electrification of the uh, last mile delivery services in Delhi. Uh, so before we move on to the uh, more aspects about the Deliver Electric Delhi report, uh, I would request uh, the dignitaries to launch the DED report. Thank you very much. I now invite my colleague Marie to delve deeper into the insights that we have found from the Deliver Electric Delhi report. Thank you, Sujoy. I will now share a few high level insights from the Deliver Electric Delhi pilot process. The Deliver Electric Daily pilot was designed to provide insights on policy implementation and to support public and private sector decision making regarding EV deployment. The pilot was broken up into three processes or pieces. The first was design, execution, and then documentation. During the design phase of the pilot, the Dialogue and Development Commission of Delhi and RMI India engaged with industry players to craft the pilot execution framework. The pilot was then launched during the Delhi Urban Mobility Lab in June 2019. And roughly a year later, the Delhi EV policy was officially notified in August 2020. The documentation phase culminates with the launch of our final report the roadmap for 100% delivery electrification in Delhi. The report is a synthesis of on the ground field information collected from our pilot participants. And it highlights how these participants were able to accelerate final mile delivery electrification. To accelerate the process of electrifying final mile delivery vehicles, many key enablers were relied upon. The first is Delhi implemented incentives to address the high capital cost of EVs. This significantly lowered the capital cost of purchase by roughly 25%. The mobilization of EV finance also lowered the borrowing rates for EV lending. And today, the Delhi government is currently working on an interest subvention scheme to reduce the interest rates for EVs. Delhi adopted a consultative approach to policy implementation throughout this pilot process. 
and the government was continually open to feedback, which enabled them to inform how they were implementing policies on the ground. The availability of charging infrastructure was also identified as a crucial enabler of final mile delivery electrification. And Delhi initiated three key schemes to help forward a robust charging infrastructure network in the city. The first was a tender for 100 concessional charging locations, the enactment of a tariff schedule with rates specifically designed for EV charging, and a subsidy scheme for private charging infrastructure. Lastly, the Deliver Electric Delhi pilot served as a forum for industry stakeholders to connect and form partnerships between vehicle manufacturers, food and grocery delivery companies, and e-commerce providers to scale final mile delivery electrification. The Delhi EV policy was one of the first policies to offer a complementary subsidy in addition to FAME 2. This drastically reduced the total cost of ownership, and today, two-wheelers at cost ownership superiority when compared to ICE equivalent vehicles or internal combustion vehicles. Three-wheelers after the Delhi and FAME 2 subsidy are at cost parity, and we expect by 2024, once the EV market matures and interest rates continue to lower, that four-wheelers will also be at cost parity on a TCO or total cost of ownership basis. Within just a year of enacting the Delhi EV policy and implementing the Deliver Electric Delhi pilot, EV sales in Delhi increased from 3.3% to 10% of new vehicles registered. Given the existing market momentum, favorable economics, and the continuation of supportive EV policies, final model delivery vehicles could feasibly reach 100% sales penetration level by 2030. This growth in electric final model ad delivery adoption can significantly reduce PM and NOx emissions by roughly 30% significantly improving Delhi's urban air quality. EVs also reduce CO2 emissions and minimize the negative impact on the environment. Electric final mile delivery vehicles can reduce CO2 emissions by up to 35% by 2030. Within the last year, Delhi has made tremendous progress in scaling final mile delivery electrification and deploying a more robust charging network. As the market continues to mature, it will be important to iterate on policy design. To continue to scale electric final mile delivery adoption, the government can use regulatory processes to further support electric vehicle supply and demand. For EV adoption to scale, private sector efforts are also needed to complement any EV policies or schemes. There is an ongoing need for ambitious fleet electrification targets, enhanced EV manufacturing, and EV financing. I would like to offer a sincere thanks to all those who participated in the Deliver Electric Delhi pilot and who truly made it a success. It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Jasmine Shaw to deliver his remarks. Honorable Transport Minister Kailash Galoji, uh, Transport uh, Commissioner Ashish Kundraji, uh, MD of RMI India, Akshima, and all the stakeholders and friends uh, from the entire EV ecosystem that have assembled today morning. Uh, I'm very glad that today uh, we are here assembled in our first in-person EV forum meeting. As Akshima was earlier remarking, the EV Forum, the Delhi EV Forum, which is hosted by the Dialogue and Development Commission in partnership with RMI India, was born out of the idea that the, the dream for Delhi's uh, EV journey uh, is a shared dream. Uh, when the Delhi EV policy was drafted, uh, we remember uh, you know, so many of you had very enthusiastically participated in framing it, giving us suggestions, 
uh, and I think it was that one one and a half year process that resulted in a very robust policy that I think almost everybody welcomed from the industry, from the ecosystem, players, OEMs, everyone. But we also received feedback at that point that this kind of a healthy discussion between government and the stakeholders outside the government should not stop and we should continue having these discussions because uh, at that time in 2020, August 2020 when we launched the policy and we said that uh, Delhi was the first state to put its neck out and say that 25% share of new vehicles will be EVs. That was the target we put out uh, in, in by 2024. We were the first state at that time and it seemed a very daunting challenge at that point. But literally one and a half years down the line where we stand today and uh, last month we clocked 12 and a half percentage sales uh, of EVs in new vehicles. It is very clear that we have reached a huge and very important milestone. We are halfway there as far as uh, the dream of EV is concerned. And the last one and a half years, I would say, has been a shared journey. Each and every stakeholder in the city has participated in it. Of course, this entire dream of making Delhi the electric vehicle capital of India is a vision uh, of uh, our Honorable Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwalji. Uh, throughout the initial stages till today, I applaud and I admire the leadership of our Honorable Transport Minister Kailash Gailojji, as well as the entire transport department led by Ashish Kundraji and the entire team. There are a lot of uh, people uh, in various arms of transport department, uh, including DTC and others who have been uh, standing uh, together, uh, you know, with the uh, larger uh, players and ecosystem every step of the way. And I think this shows the power of uh, what a collaboration, a collaborative approach can do. Uh, when government and stakeholders outside the government engage in this kind of a dialogue and uh, discussion and jointly discuss issues, find resolutions and move forward, uh, we know that sky is the limit. So it is in that spirit uh, that we are assembled here today as part of Delhi AV Forum. And uh, as I said, we have reached a major milestone, a milestone no city or no state in India has reached so far. 12 and half percentage of uh, all new vehicle sales being EVs is unprecedented. So what next is the obvious question. And I think given the aspiration, given the vision of our Chief Minister and given all our shared dream, I'm sure many of you represent di different companies, different organizations, but one of the big reasons why all of you got up early in the morning and came here is because you want clean air. You want clean air for your family, you want clean air for the future generations. And I think it is in that spirit that I feel that today we are at the cusp of creating history. If you look at what really can be achieved in Delhi, uh, I think the last one and a half year should inspire a lot of hope that today we can stand here and dream of doing things which have definitely not been done in India but probably not in other parts of the world as well. And I think it is in that spirit that today we have uh, identified uh, a few themes uh, after this inaugural session, uh, there are a few themes that we've identified for breakouts and further deliberations. The first is 100% uh, electrification of last mile delivery. Uh, we just heard about uh, a two year uh, pilot of Deliver Electric Delhi and I congratulate uh, RMI India for very patiently uh, working with industry players and DDC in really drawing out insights, you know, uh, this is such an early stage of evolution of uh, electric, uh, you know, delivery fleet electrification that we have to learn from each other's experiences. So I also uh, appreciate all those who participated in the pilot, who shared their data, shared their experiences. And we are committed as DDC, we are committed to working with all the players in the industry to reach that goal of 100% delivery fleet uh, electrification. You're aware about um, the fact that uh, Delhi is soon going to be bringing out a policy for aggregators. But I feel as delivery fleets, uh, the onus is first that on our own initiative, how can we reach that target of 100% delivery fleet electrification? Second target is a rapid scale up of charging infrastructure. Uh, Delhi has already taken a number of initiatives in the last uh, one, one and a half years. We have the highest number of charging points as it is. 
but still if we are saying that the dream is to move towards 100 percentage electrification of delivery fleets even two wheelers uh, personal two wheelers uh, as such then we need a larger penetration of uh, charging points and that is where the role of commercial establishments and rwas especially comes in unlike a petrol pump where you go searching for a petrol station when you are out of fuel uh, you know global experience has shown that majority of charging for evs happens where you naturally take your vehicle it is either your workplace your society or if you're out let's say for shopping or if you're visiting a hotel or a hospital or uh, you know any malls uh, all of that so it is very important that commercial establishments and rwas join and become very active active participants in uh, the the vision of making delhi the ev capital government has taken a few steps but we would still like to learn uh, from the players uh, uh, you know commercial establishments especially what is it that is uh, can be done to further uh, you know uh, push uh, this further and the third i think is a very new opportunity of retrofitting uh, is still an evolving conversation there are a few players in the retrofitting industry but uh, this is an area and theme that we haven't engaged in much in the previous uh, ev forums so we thought that today could be a good opportunity to understand are there any innovations are there any policy measures uh, or operational models that delhi can adopt and i think it is in this spirit that today i encourage all of you to participate actively in these discussions give suggestions and also see how can we make time bound commitments because at the end of the day as i said the vision is not to just talk discuss but to see what can each of us do to further this vision of making delhi the ev capital of india so uh, i again thank honorable transport minister kailash gelo ji for taking out his valuable time and joining us today and i wish all of you uh, a great uh, event today thank you thank you sir uh, with the collaborative effort of everyone in this room uh, like mr shah said uh, indeed for delhi sky is the limit on that note uh, it is my uh, great pleasure to invite uh, honorable minister of transport shri kailash gelo ji for delivering the keynote address very good morning to all of you on the dais uh, jasmine ji ashish kundra ji akshima ji and uh, the esteemed guests which are in this hall i think let me congratulate first of all not only delhi government or transport department but the entire team i think it's a classic example of perfect team work and collaboration jahan sarkar aur dusri jo stakeholders hain they collaborate have a vision and i think more important than vision is have a dream mujhe aaj bhi yaad hai jab target hum set kar rahe the ki electric vehicle policy mein what goals uh, should be set i still remember the conversation i was having with jasmine in my office chamber to kahi man mein lag raha tha ki kahi hum over ambitious ho ke aisa koi target to set nahi kar rahe ki which we won't be able to achieve but i think uh, after almost 2 uh, years 2020 may august may launch kiya and uh, we have almost reached half way through i congratulate everybody all the stakeholders all team members um, who have worked um, leading from the front and who have worked behind to at least 2 saal mein jo 50% hum pahunch gaye hain because i think ye to humne bar bar kaha hai honorable cm arvind kejriwal ji ne bhi bar bar kaha hai ki delhi vasiyon ne bahut bade bade badlav karke dikhaye hain and this delhi government i think i don't think could have done alone um जितनी चीज़ें कहीं जाए इलेक्ट्रिक दिल्ली इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल पॉलिसी के बारे में आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट पॉलिसीज विच हैव बीन ड्राफ्टेड सो फार एंड वेरी वेल एग्जीक्यूटेड 
uh, not only in India, but I think uh, all over the world, one of the best electric vehicle policy. And I think the credit goes uh, not to Delhi government uh, per se. I think the the process which was adopted by Delhi government, the consultations hui, lagatar jitne bhi stakeholders hain. And I think uh, let me thank before I forget, let me thank the two um, precious gems which RMI has given. Kohinoor ke hire hain agar main galat nahi kahun to. Uh, Dimpi and uh, Sijoy, kahan par hain? I think we should come in front and at least uh, one, one big round of applause for where is Dimpi? Dimpi, Dimpi, you can please remove your mask also. I think you can have the liberty of doing that. I think uh, non-stop, non-stop, I think they have worked very, very hard. And uh, I think most more important uh, than working hard was to identify the, the real issues, resolving them, thrashing them out, pura brainstorming karke. I thank uh, both Dimpi and Sujoy for lending all their support, hard work. And uh, I also thank uh, uh, Transport Commissioner Mr. Ashish Kundra, who has, uh, I think, um, motivated the entire uh, department, all officers, and uh, playing a very crucial and uh, interesting role. I don't think I need to thank uh, Jasmine. <laughs> I also thank uh, Akshima. I think we should congratulate her also. She has become managing director thank you, sir. Thank of uh, RMS. <laughs> the journey has been very interesting so far. I think we have given the right incentives. Um, that it created uh, that uh, the entire ecosystem that push. Um, I think we have taken all the right steps so far. I think now the the ball is in the court of RWAs, the the citizens, jo mall ke owners hain, jo bade bade commercial hubs hain, jo unke owners hain. Jo bade establishments ke owners and I think uh, uh, as Jasmine pointed out, sabse jada jahan charging ki ka scope hai, wo hai jahan a person is there for uh, more number of hours, three hours, four hours. In, in fact, any person who goes to a mall uh, lands up uh, spending at least uh, one hour, two hour, three hours. If he goes for a movie, then more number of hours. Office uh, spaces. Uh, six to seven hours minimum, those are the perfect places where uh, we should uh, set up uh, charging stations. I think already in Delhi we have almost um, around 1,000 uh, charging points. Um, but uh, I think that day is not far when we we will have more number of uh, charging stations. Three uh, so charging uh, points ka I think jo target hai, wo bahut jald hum uh, achieve karenge uh, charging stations ka. Awareness is another uh, important point, and I think everything flows from uh, awareness. Vis-a-vis -vis Delhi government, we have been uh, trying to create awareness at all levels. Um, as Transport Commissioner pointed out, where the public, uh, public transport is coming I think very soon uh, we will have uh, thousands of uh, electric buses running on uh, Delhi roads. Yeah. Two wheelers ka Akshma ji ne mentioned kiya, it has really picked up in last uh, a few months. In fact, uh, we have gone uh, beyond that. I think Delhi has become the only state uh, to provide subsidy on e-cycles. I think no other state uh, has done so far. Again, that is to create the uh, uh, last mile connectivity mein jitne bhi uh, commercial ya delivery wale jitne vehicles hain. So instead of using a, a, a petrol uh, two-wheeler, if they switch to uh, the e-cycles, and we have given subsidy on both the passenger e-cycles and the uh, the, the uh, cargo e-cycles, I think that will also uh, very soon it will start. We are just uh, in the last phase of uh, creating that portal. The subsidies and the incentives will start. Um, so vis-a-vis 
Delhi government and as a transport department, we have taken all the right steps. I am appealing to all uh, citizens of Delhi, all residents of Delhi, all the owners of big uh, commercial establishments. The RWAs can play a very important role in creating uh, awareness. We already held uh, two, three rounds uh, with RWAs. Abhi piche Vasnukul mein humne RWA mein electric uh, charging points with the DISCOM uh, set up kiya. Um, I think the uh, charging uh, points create karne ke liye jo uh, subsidies Delhi government ne provide kiya hai. I think it is nowhere uh, in India right now. The cheapest uh, charging point which you can set up anywhere is in uh, Delhi. I think uh, 6,000 rupees ka subsidy dene ke baad, I think uh, the the resident needs to pay just uh, 2,000 rupees. Or uske liye bhi single window uh, system uh, create kiya hai. The, the applicant need not go anywhere. He has to just go and visit the DISCOM uh, website and uh, place the order. Uh, having said that, I once again um, again congratulate uh, everybody, all the stakeholders and uh, looking forward uh, when we can proudly say that uh, the targets which we had uh, uh, set in the electric vehicle policy uh, we have achieved and I thank everybody who has been working very hard shoulder to shoulder. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for those very encouraging words. Uh, thank you for being the